Jaguar Radio Broadcast. We are going to go to our good, close, personal, longtime friend, Mr. Frank Minuccio, the biggest star in the business. Don't blame him, just ask him. He will tell you. And uh, he is going to join us here in just a few moments. And uh, a quick little programming note, wherever you're listening to us, if you're listening to us live on the stream at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to have a hell of a deal. We are going to put up a video of uh, this crazy, crazy fucking bitch, Susan Singari. Uh, she is a hack from Florida, and we are going to uh, chat about her later today. Uh, if you miss it live, it will be posted to the website at JiggyJaguar.com. So let's go to a guy who is not a crazy bitch. Frank Fernuccio. And uh, we are going to join him on our big program here. Uh, Frank is going to talk to us about all sorts of things. All sorts of fun things happening today. But uh, we will see what happens here. We're going to call Vernuccio and see where he is or what he is doing. Uh, I guess if he doesn't pick up, he'll call us back. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is Frank Fernuccio. This is Frank Fernuccio. Please leave a message. Uh, they are. They are indeed saying it. I'm going to pause that. Let's do this. We are going to go to a fun, fun segment. We got no Frank Fernuccio, so let's just go to a fun segment. Um, Talkers Magazine puts out a deal every single year called the Heavy 100, which is the 100 most influential and most important radio talk show hosts in America. The editors of Talkers Magazine, which is basically Michael Harrison, with input from industry leaders, which is basically Holland Cook, present the 100 most important radio talk show hosts in America. It's a popular feature that has come to be known as the Heavy 100. The most challenging task that Talkers undertakes each year is considering that there are thousands of talk show hosts across the country, ranging from national icons to those laboring in relative obscurity. And uh, you can get the list over there at Talkers.com. But let's go down the list. The list. I believe there was a Saturday Night Live sketch at one time that said, Don't lose the list. So we are going to go down the list of Talkers Magazine. And the number one influential and most important talk show host in America is apparently Sean Hannity. By God, have they flipped their lids. <laughs> Why in the world would you make Sean Hannity your number one most important and influential talk show host in America. I've never been a fan of Sean Hannity. I like his radio program because of the production, but I really just can't stand Sean Hannity. So we go to the next one, Rush Limbaugh. Yes, El Rushbo, or as Michael Savage likes to refer to him, as the golfer. Um, he is the number two most influential talk show host in America. Number three after the uh, Dave Ramsey ad is, uh, <laughs> is ironically Dave Ramsey. <laughs> oh, how did they line that up? <laughs> how did they line that up? 17 million listeners. Number three, the Dave Ramsey. Oh. Number four on the list. Groucho Marx on helium. <laughs> Mark Levin. That's an ass, eh? Mark Levin has always reminded me of a 1950s gangster. Uh, number five on the list. Brian Kilmeade. Of course, Brian Kilmeade is famous. He is an uh, 
interesting individual. Uh, Brian Kilmeade actually... Let me see if I can find this here. Um, Brian Kilmeade is an interesting guy. Um, he has had many faux pas in his broadcast career. I define you to find any faux pas of mine. Which, by the way, you can find them all over the place. In fact, I regularly post them to, J to JiggyJaguar.com. So, Brian Kilmeade. Um, all over the YouTubes. Probably one of my most favorite and moments. We are so delighted. We are so delighted because we're going to be presenting uh, Brian Kilmeade. Remember Brian Kilmeade? This guy was the ring. He was the broadcast guy for UFC one and Brian Kilmeade's got some incredible stuff uh, I'm going to see if I can find some of his uh, more interesting moments from uh, the UFC the ultimate fighting championship now, um, Brian Kilmeade was involved in the very first, uh, well, no, I guess he was in UFC 2. UFC 2 was Brian Kilmeade. He, uh, we'll go to, we'll go to UFC 2. That, that was Brian Kilmeade. Um, he was uh, he he referred to uh karate and judo and all these things talked about the guillotine all these things um here's the play by play of Brian Kilmeade. that is a strong strong man that's not Brian even though Kilmeade. he just stood there when he came to him big take down there look at this Look at this. He's going to break the hole by punching gotta, himself out of it. He's going to break the hole by punching himself out of it. For Scott to be in. Really tough. This corner will probably throw the towel in on this one. It's over. Oh. Oh. Okay. I, I, I don't know. There, there, there are plenty of interesting moments from Brian Kilmeade, but he's number five on the list. Number six is a guy by the name of Joe Madison, who I only know from his brief appearances on the Ed Show back in the day with Ed Schultz. Uh, Michael Harrison's got to have an ad for his own stuff. Howard Spum! Coward Spum! Howard Stern! Now, this is not Howard Stern. The Howard Stern. This is Howard Stern.